Hello. Today we're going to be doing uh, lesson 5.10 and it covers proper adjectives. So when you think about proper adjectives, I want you to think about some proper nouns. So what is a proper noun? Remember, proper nouns are always going to start with a capital letter because they are names of people or places or things, right? So if I have the term um, France, okay? So France is a country. That's its name. It's a proper noun. But if I want to describe something from France, so let's say I have um, the language that people speak in France. We don't say they speak France. We say they speak French. Right? That is the language that is spoken in France. This is a proper adjective. It's describing the language spoken in that country. Um, if we had something like, um, let's talk about the proper noun of Russia, right? So if you've ever seen the dolls that nest inside one another, we wouldn't refer to them as Russia nesting dolls. We would refer that to them as Russian nesting dolls, okay? So the work we're going to be doing today is really kind of thinking about the proper noun and how it is kind of changed into a proper adjective. Um, let's take a look at some other examples. You're going to be identifying them. So if we had, and it's really going to be country driven today. So if we had, um, Australia and I wanted to talk about, um, animals in Australia, right? I would say that they are not Australia animals, but they are Australian animals. All right. So you'll often see this I-A-N ending, but not always, right? We have France to French, we don't call them Frenchians, right? That would sound kind of odd. We call them French. And there are other examples too, like if we take a look at Switzerland. We actually would refer to um, people from Switzerland, describing the people from Switzerland. The proper adjective would be Swiss not Swissians. So there are some variations here. Um, have you come across any that you're not familiar with and they're asking you to take that proper noun and change it to a proper adjective? You might wanna just ask your parents. I'm sure there's a few that um, don't uh, switch over into this proper adjective form in a familiar way for you, but most of them you should be um, in good shape on. And um, really, that's what you're going to be doing. You're going to be picking them out in sentences and identifying them. You're going to um, take some of the proper ad the proper nouns and then change them into their proper adjective version at the bottom of the worksheet. Okay, um, and that's it for today. I'll see you next time.